Hey Steve, I wanted to thank you for doing the collaboration. I do appreciate it. For all of you that don't know, my name is Michael Pierce. I run a YouTube channel that is to help new sellers get started on eBay and Amazon. I myself own an online business. I do this full time and I do a lot of videos to try and help people understand the ins and outs of online business and how they can be successful. Now I've watched all the recent collaboration videos that Steve has done and I noticed there's a pattern. All these people have been talking about one specific way to make money or find things to sell or do certain things on a specific website. I decided I want to touch base on something that was fundamentally more at the core of selling. It's one of the biggest decisions that any of us as sellers make and I wanted to discuss going full time with your business and really just going all in. I think the biggest issue that every seller has is being afraid to go all in and really create a business for themselves. I would say 95% of the people I talk to are afraid to quit their job because of job security and they're afraid to go for it because what if they fail and they're worried they won't make enough money to pay their bills. Now I think this is the biggest mistake everyone makes. If you're an entrepreneur and you really truly want to be successful, you're thinking about this completely the wrong way. My thought process on it is, it doesn't matter if you fail, doesn't matter what happens as long as you go for it and you try. Reason being, you should truly be afraid that you're going to spend the rest of your life working for someone else and creating their dream while you're just getting paid a measly paycheck that you have very little control over. The fact of the matter is probably about 80% of the population works a job they don't like and they make not nearly enough money to live a truly comfortable lifestyle. That to me is very depressing and as a business person myself, I see people not going for it because of this fear and I think that's really the wrong way to look at it. You should really flip it on its head and say, you know what, I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to spend the rest of my life working this job I hate. Why not go for it? So what if I fail? I'll learn in the process and there's the potential that I could be successful for myself. That matters more than anything else. If you truly are a business minded person and you go to work every day thinking to yourself that you just cannot stand the fact that you're making someone else more successful while you're just getting a paycheck, then you really should watch the rest of this video and you should really understand what I'm saying because I was that person. I just recently went all in. I've only been doing this full time for six months and for the past five years I've been a chef and a manager in kitchens and I hated my job. I hated that the owner of the restaurant was doing nothing while I was working 80 hours a week and making hundreds of thousands of dollars while I was making a $40,000 salary and that's really good. I'm, I'm only 23 years old. That's a great salary for my age but it's not good enough and it should never be good enough. You should never give up on your dream and you should never say something is good enough and get complacent because that's when you end up 60 years old retiring and spending you know, the last of your life with free time. Probably one of the biggest things I hear that really irks me is when people say they can't wait for the weekend. They can't wait to have their weekend off to do the things they want. They can't wait to have those couple days off work to enjoy their free time. When in reality, people should be working really hard on the weekend and enjoy their whole week off. You should have a majority of your time free to enjoy your life, to do the things that matter in life, to work on your business or work on a side project or spend time with your kids. So the fact of the matter is you should really work on creating the dream you want so you're working on the weekends and you're enjoying your entire week off. From my personal experience, I spent probably the past five years being afraid to go all in and really do a full-time business. And recently after making the decision, as much as I may struggle to pay my bills or to do this or as much as I may be stressed out, it's definitely the best decision in my life. I truly enjoy every moment of working for myself. The best reward about working for yourself is the fact that you control your destiny. You really control what happens next. If you know you decide to work extra hard, you make extra money that week. Find one good thing at the thrift store to resell or one good wholesale item to resell and you can make a couple thousand dollars in a month and there's people happy about that one dollar pay raise. I think the main issue is everyone gets so caught in the loop of making that consistent money that they think that's the way it has to be. But it really isn't. You can do it. All you have to do is really try and work hard. If there's one asset in life that you have, it's yourself. You can truly control your entire destiny. You can choose how hard you work. You can choose if you beat out your competitors. You can choose if you become the best reseller in the world or the top YouTuber in the business section. You control all of these things simply by working harder and working smarter. If I were you, I would sit down, I would think, you know, am I happy with what I'm doing in my life right now? And if you're not, then make a game plan and really just go for it. You can start small. You can start reselling one day a week while you work, then go to two days a week. But eventually your end goal should be to work for yourself, control your own retirement, control your own future, and become your own successor. At the end of the day, there's one thing that matters more than any, and that's no excuses. Don't make excuses for yourself. You can do it. You truly can. I know you can, and I hope you do. 
So please go out there and get it. And for all the people watching this video and doubting what I'm saying, I understand because I was that person, but I'm not anymore. And the fact of the matter is, I busted my ass my entire life from the age of 13 to 23 to start working at one of the top restaurants in Cleveland. I got to the very top. I became a chef. That was my goal my whole life. And then I realized, you know what? I've been setting terrible goals. This is not what I want out of life. I don't want to work 80 hours a week for $40,000 a year. I want to go make my own future. And I went for it. And honestly, I'm the happiest I've ever been. And I want you to be the happiest you could ever be. But with all this stuff I've been saying, I hope it did motivate you. But I want to close out with two famous quotes that are truly inspirational and there's something to live by. So here we go. The first quote is by Seth Godin. The cost of being wrong is far less than the cost of doing nothing. And what this really means is if you're sitting around, you're not going for what you want, you're going to be a lot more miserable than if you failed at at least trying. And the second quote is by Henry Ford. His quote is, failure is simply the opportunity to start again, this time more intelligently. And what he's saying is, you know what, it's okay to make mistakes. It's okay that you failed. The point is, learn from them, start over, and be better than you started out. Hey, what's going on guys? Steve with Rake and Profit. Hope that you folks enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to go check out Michael Pierce over on YouTube. This is his YouTube channel right here. Just type in his name and subscribe to his channel. You can hit the button here, 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 and here. And uh, you know what? Check him out. He's got a lot of good content. He's a young guy who's obviously very motivated and inspired and knowledgeable and just somebody that could really help us all out. So definitely check him out. Michael, wanted to uh, let you know I really appreciate you taking the time to make this video for my viewers and I hope everybody enjoyed it. You know what time it is. Keep hoping to make enough money and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Today's uh, video, I wanted to answer a viewer question that I received recently that pertains to Kindle Publishing and CreateSpace. So there was a question that came to me through Facebook asking, Steve, I've been doing Kindle Publishing for about three or four months and I'm having a lot of good success. Should I start to publish my Kindle eBooks as physical books through CreateSpace? 